Yeah, so, um, yeah, it's an honor for me to be a part of this and, and um, growing up reading Marlin Magazine, Obi's a household name to me, and uh, that's why it's such a big honor for me to be here today. Um, my, my small world story is that this fishing world is so small, and, you know, we had to behave ourselves because you never know who you're going to run into. And uh, we're, we're traveling around the world doing our thing. And uh, my wife was headed to Madeira with my two children. And I had to come later. The boat that we're shipping there was late. And I was, you know, chomping at the bit to get it there, but had to wait. So my wife went ahead to be with her family. And she was about at her wit's end in the Lisbon airport. And she's got two little kids and all the gear and a couple walks up to the, her and says, are you Elizabeth? And she looked at them like, what? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm from Kona, headed to Madeira. How, how would you know me in, in, in Lisbon airport? Well, it was this lovely couple and they were headed to the same spot, which fishing brought us together. Yeah. Fishing, we're headed to this great fishing hole and they were able to recognize my wife and, and uh, OB grabbed their bags and Shark took one of the kids and they, they got on the plane like a family that yeah. only the world of fishing would unite like that. So mm -hmm. that was my, my story for uh, today. And uh, congratulations, OB. And uh, well, congratulations. Appreciate it. You got it. Awesome, awesome. Okay, Mark, let it rip. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this real, real short, but uh, it's pretty easy, by the way, to recognize Elizabeth because she's probably the prettiest girl in Portugal. So that that helped a lot, you know. Yeah. Um, I got to tell you, I was fishing years ago alongside a skip and and Obi and uh, in Venezuela, and I don't remember who was on the boat with us one day when we were fishing and, and he was asking questions about all the the guys that are out there fishing and uh you know and what about this guy and what about that guy he's asking all these questions and i turned around and looked at him i said you know what hell is and he says no i'm not sure and i said hell would be have to get up every morning and have to try to fish alongside obrey o'brien and that's the truth uh, <laughs> he was he was he was just like Skip. He was just like Skip. Skip could Skip would kick my butt one day and then Obi would get it the next day, you know. So and I enjoyed every minute of it. Uh, I'm really proud of you, Obi. Thank you. Thank you, Bark. You're Obi. Kicked our ass on off days. Yeah, just fishing off the dock. That's what I was doing though. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you 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 had a faster boat. You got there. You caught more. You got in. You had us. You had us all wrapped up there in Venezuela. Love. That was awesome. I like I like Obi's story when he when you guys were fishing in Madeira and got back and Obi's going to tell me this story about Stewart and a backlash. And so Obi, <laughs> story, he's got this big sombrero on and Stewart's got one the same to keep the sun off of him and and. Uh, and, and Obi told us it's unbelievable, but I'm gonna try this and mess it up a little bit here. And so Obi's telling me the story, and he says, "Yeah, Stewart's got the rod tucked up under his arm, and he's free spooling, and this backlash comes up, and next thing you know, his, his the strings coming down his hat got in the backlash. And, and Obi, to show me how it goes, pulls his hat all the way down over his eyes. <laughs> he says that's what Stewart looked like." <laughs> He oh good. God, I'm dying! <laughs> and again, like, hey, Mark, Mark, remember the uh, the grommets kept pinging off the uh, the uh, the bridge. Yeah, the drop you know, on the hat. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, that's good uh, stuff. You told that story so good, I I thought I was actually there. Anyhow, thank you. <laughs> Kevin, I don't know if Gene's got a story. If he thought of someone to ride across, or if Gaffney wants to chip in, now's the time to do it. But and um, as I'll turn it over right now to our great IGFA rep, longtime guy over there in Hawaii for us all, Rick Gaffney, to present the Tommy Gifford Award to Captain Obi O'Brien. 
Uh, this is a superb honor for me. Um, honor for me. Having, having been a captain and uh, understanding what that's like on a daily basis, but also as a journalist, having been able to fish all over the world and, and fish with um, a number of the guys that have been awarded this award over time, I know the stature and the importance of all of these guys. So um, even though I never had a chance to fish with OB, uh, certainly knew the name and uh, it, 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 it really makes me proud to be able to be here today and present this award to Captain OB O'Brien. Obi, what do you got to say? I got to say it's a tremendous honor to receive this. Well, you well deserved it. Take a breath of air there, but you you know, you, you've you've led you've led a great example. You know, everybody knows how class you were. You were very humble. And, uh, you know, to, to be able to give you that award makes us and the IGFA very, very proud to, you know, have you in this group of people. Yeah, it makes, it was just a, such an honor. We tried to do it the right way all these years, you know. You did it. And to have to. You did uh, it. Have to compete against you guys, you know, Skip, Bark, and. It's a uh, it's a real honor to receive this. You're a very humble person, and you're very humbled again now. I can tell. This uh, Tommy, you know, this great Tommy Gifford Award. Great fisherman and great guy. You're our Tommy Gifford right now, Cap. Well said. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Can, uh, is uh, Gene there? Yep. Yeah. Could Gene just stick his head in here for a second? Hey, Skipper, how you doing? Good, good. Thanks for coming out and representing uh, all the best captains we have over there. We hope to see you over here during the boat show here real soon again. Well, it's an honor to be here, like everyone said, and uh, OB is obviously very deserving of this award. Gives us all something to aspire to our whole careers. And um, I'm just uh, honored to be here with everyone. And congratulations, OB. Good job. Thank you. Good job, buddy. And you guys should see his house. This is a pretty good digs he's got going on here. Well, we hope to see all, we hope to see all you guys over at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show this year when we have this event. I'm sure uh, all you guys will be there, and we can do this all over again. But it's uh, awesome just to make sure we have in the bag right now. So, on behalf of the legendary captain crew committee and the IGFA, thank you everyone for joining us this evening. This is an extraordinary night. Congratulations, Captain Ob O'Brien. Thank you, Mr.